All right, so we're going to build the tail first, and that this is a little bit of a different style of movement and design than we had with all the stuff up to now. This is all symbol based. So, you know, you click on something with a free transform tool, you got a bounding box, and you can do position, rotation, and scale type of movement with it. So these are, we're basically, those are transforms. We are transforming attributes of these symbols on the stage, but changing their position, their rotation, or their scale. The tail is a little different setup. Let me go back over to, where is it at? This. The tail is uh, not transforming. It's actually deforming. It's actually, I'm, I'm morphing it by dragging it and moving around. And I can kind of do one or the other. I can't do both in Animate. And the more I mess around with it, the crazier it gets. It's getting longer and longer and weird stuff is happening here. It's self-intersected and now I basically pinched it off. It's like sausages now I've got three tails. So I gotta be careful with how much I do with this, but let's go ahead and build this so we can understand what it is. Um, go back over to this guy and show you what I'm talking about. So uh, remember the brim of the hat? And it was just like uh, this uh, line. All it is is a line. This is a heavier weight. That's what the tail is, except the difference between the brim of the hat and the tail is the tail's got a texture on it. So let's go ahead and make that. So I'm gonna make a new, I'm gonna have a new layer here. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let's just go ahead and just do a normal line shape here. Let's make it like pretty heavy. So this is just a line. All I did was just change the stroke size. You know, I can change the profile if I want to, like I did for the, you know, the pause or the, these features on the face are the same thing. It's got this little thick and thin. And you can play with these um, different profiles. What's cool is you can make your own. Uh, you can make your own style here. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I have this uh, kind of tail shape here. And uh, it's probably pretty good actually for the size and the shape I want it to be. So I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be a stroke right now. I want it to actually be a fill. So I'm going to go here to my, uh, where's it at? Shape and convert my lines to fill. So now I have, this is now, let me show you what the difference of that is. Is now it's, you know, it's it's an outline. It's, a, it's an outline based shape. If I go here, it looks like the outside contour of it is set. Whereas if before, if I undo myself back to when it was just a line and I look at it this way, it's just a single line, right? So that's the difference between um, a line and a fill, I guess. So let me go here and redo this again. Shape, so let's convert my line to a fill. Because I want to put these stripes and stuff in here. All right. So the uh, let's do this. Let's make the tail blue. And now I'm going to kind of zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to let's do this. I'm going to draw a circle. Whoa. That circle is not what I had in mind. Let's make this a thinner stroke. And this time I'm going to actually use the sort of the flattening of, you know, the auto flattening of shapes cutting into each other. So right now it's a separate entity, right? And I can drag it around. As soon as I deselect it, it's going to flatten down onto this shape. It cuts it, not bisects it. It's kind of like a pathfinder sort of an operation if you're familiar with uh, Illustrator. So I can now change this to that gray and now I've got that. I'm going to group it so I can move it without it flattening. And I'm just going to duplicate it a couple times to kind of get where my stripes are going to go. And I'm just what am I doing? Alt, dragging, shift. Shift is constraining it to left and right and alt is making a duplicate whenever I drag it. So that one I don't need anymore. These I can all ungroup. And now they are cutting in now, meaning they have separated this uh, shape into sort of separate parts. So now I can just fill this with uh, that other light blue. Get my stripes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole thing again. And I want to get rid of these strokes. I don't want them anymore. And I can select them one by one and delete them like that. Or I can select the whole thing. And then shift click on the fills and then delete everything else. So now I have uh, a drawing shape that's on the stage. And I could symbolize it, I could convert it to a symbol, but all that's gonna get me is like, it'll stay rigid, it'll just swing up and down. And I don't want that, I want this to be more like a noodle. 
So what I'm gonna do is while I have it selected, I'm gonna right click on it and say create paintbrush. And now I get this paintbrush options and it says make an art brush and we'll call it, we'll call it cattail. And I've got some options, you know, do I want it to scale proportionately? Uh, do I want to, you know, this is going to, however long the line is going to be, it's going to just make uh, the length and the width proportionate to the overall length of the line. This will just uh, keep it um, a uniform width, but it will stretch it out along the length. And this is what I really want to do. I want to have the tail end always be kind of like the end, and I want the kind of the base to always be uniform, and then it'll just stretch this out in between. And I can say, add. oh, you know what I want to do? It doesn't really matter, does it? I might turn it this way. No, I'll keep it that way. All right, so now this is still its own thing. I'm going to hide it. And if I now draw a line, you can see the tail I just made now exists as a kind of a style of, of brush. So if I make a line here, I give myself a new layer to do it. There it is, it's super tiny. But if I select this and thicken it up a little bit, now I've got my cattail and I can bend it. You get all kinds of crazy shape and stuff. There's some gapping in there a little bit. That's artifacting that's happening from how the brush is drawn. I can't do anything about that. But you know, if you're at size, it's probably not gonna be noticeable. All right, so there's my tail. So let me go ahead and I guess I'd I can just keep it there for now. I can... Sometimes whenever you deselect something and you reselect it, it becomes a drawing object. I'm not sure why that happens, but that's not helpful. Um, go and what I can do is break it apart in order to get it back. I mean, I think it's, it's Command B. I don't know where it is up in here somewhere. I'm so used to uh, hotkeys from having used animate for so long. But there you go. Break it apart and you're good to go. All right, so. We'll set you aside. Maybe we'll just keep you over here for now. I don't know. And let's do the stick. Same thing. So um, let's see how fast I can do this new layer. Well, this is my tail, right? And let's leave my brushes so I can get this one back. All right. So let's go ahead and make this one bigger. There we go. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and make the stick. And the stick is gonna be, oh, I need to make, I need to, I don't think I ever got that brown, did I? Let's go ahead and draw. Brown. Just with the classic brush is fine. And this is the one time, well, I'm gonna draw with the mouse. I can make this work. Make it a little bigger. I'm gonna say that. I want to try to make it as straight as I can uh, because I'm gonna bend it using the tool, right? And I, I don't need to draw it with some bend in it. I'll just make it straight. So there's my stick. And let me kind of clean this a little bit because it's kind of crunky. See if I can smooth it out a little bit. So there's a little bit of bend, but it's overall straight. It's pretty good. See if we can, yeah, let's leave it. Let's just leave it like that. Okay, so let's do the same thing. We'll select it and I will uh, make it a paintbrush. There we go. And it's black right now. I don't think that's going to matter. I think it, whenever I change my fill color, it should probably be okay. Sometimes that happens though. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Let's stretch it between the guides. I'll call this stick. All right. And now let me see what happens if I draw like a new layer. Yeah, you can see it's actually picking up the stroke color there. So that's okay. Like this stick. And I'm going to hide my brushes. And I just need to make sure this is the right color. So I'm going to select my stroke color and make it brown. No, I'm all good. So my stick is made. All right, cool. So uh, I think you probably. Uh, start building this guy. Let's go ahead and do that.